doing God's judgment. There is nothing we can do about Nambikano's predicament. British government. After so many years, the British government did everything possible to get Namdekano to Renard Biafra and he refused. Sending their envoy to him to get him to denounce Biafra and he refused. To get him to drop Biafra agitation, he refused. British government has finally played the last kick. And that last kick was what you saw in the so-called God of Nigeria. The same kick British government played in presidential election tribunal, both in IP court and Supreme Court. Every acting you are seeing that the Supreme Court, the IP court has been acting of recent is the making of British government. Where Pede and the, the coming of Tinibu. And then Namdekano rejection or should I say and Namdekano's continued detention stand by Supreme Court that he should continue to remain in custody that his case must go back the squashing of the P court judgment. These are all making of British government in collaboration with Tinibu. And that thing, you call Buhari, who is somewhere now in Daura. Everything was planned. They believe that when he is captured, or he will easily call. When he is tortured, but he's got into two years and counting two years and half a year two years and a half upon that Namde Kano has refused to back down so British has played their last game what they are going to do now is the back of the last game they played we are going to see victory in no time In close time that you may think, you may not believe, but that is the truth. So far as Namde Kano continues to be strong, though I know that he will. British government says that they cannot offer any assistance to Namde Kano. Because they are not obliged or whatever. But what they are saying in a sense is that Namdekano has rejected their offer several times. Prefer the right of his people, prefer the right of his Soko people, prefer the right of Rubo people prefer the right of the job people, prefer the right of your Korean people, prefer the right of Ubiqu people, prefer the right of Abba people, prefer the right of Umaha people, prefer the right of Anambra people, prefer the right of Enugu people, prefer the right of Imo people, prefer the right of Ibu people, prefer the right of Delta people prefer the right of Igbos in Koji. And for this reason, British government has decided to continue to back up the charade of the so-called Supreme Court. We all know that 
the way he was renditioned back to Nigeria illegally, the Nigerian government has no right to judge him in their court. The first thing that. But, as usual, just like British, you Supreme Court to bring the into office, they are doing the same thing again. To you Supreme Court. First of all, Squash a judgment made by a court and to use it uh, to coat it with sugar, they decided to say that uh, no, that Nam the Kano was illegally adopted from Kenya, and no, that Nam the Kano was shut out from Nigeria, and no, that the Nigerian government was rascal to go fight to go to Nam Carlos' house to kill him with their DSS and soldier. But after that, the same Supreme Court squashed the case. This is to show you that this reality you are seeing today is the making of British government, the making of King Charles. He saw how France was panicking when the Niger told them to leave, when Faso told them to leave, and Niger told them to leave. Because they know they are going to miss a lot. Laurent, they sell $200 and give them just $1. Now, the Niger are selling it more than even the $200, and the money is coming to them straight away. These are the same thing British government doesn't want to miss. And this is why they see Namde Kana as threat. But believe me, all the atrocities they have committed, all the evil that King Charles has committed, including the one that the mother committed, time shall tell. He is going to know that there is power and there is power. I think I've come to the end of this news.